Thomas, I need something from you. I have a chance for you to redeem yourself. Could I have access to the mirror service? Let's see here. So, I have a chance for you to redeem yourself, Thomas. I need something from you. Uh, let's see. I, uh, so, did Paul ever tell you about the Beldum rewrite protocol? But we do have the Jabber thing in case we need it. But we'll see where this goes. I'm going to pick a few different things from yesterday. Beldum, what? What? That? Why? That doesn't sound familiar. Oh, no. The last time I, I saw him, we got into an argument about it. Paul was trying to tell me about some symbol in his plan to stop it. He said to save Stone Creek, he needed access to Mirror's servers so he could run a program to wipe every trace of it. When I wouldn't listen, he got upset. That was the end of it. Now, I realized that he wasn't asking for permission. Paul went through with it, or now I realize he, didn't, he wasn't asking for permission. Paul went through with it, didn't he? Uh, even if he did, he never gave it to anyone. But I'm still supposed to be grateful that it's an exploit in my servers, thanks to him. That bastard. Being all honorable and crap. You can't have access. Mira is on the verge of a massive growth. The state of the town, and not to mention the missing employees, is hindering that. There's no room for mistakes, unless there might be something to make this a mutual exchange. I have a proposition for you. There's a saying about making deals with devils. Let's throw that one in there. Please don't flatter yourself. There's nothing um, about you that's all that interesting. Mirrors and talks with Jabber about partnership. Paul was supposed to design a prototype to secure the deal. Without it, it all falls apart. As luck would have it, he took with him, or he took it with him when he left. If you could find the program and send it to me, I'll give you full access to our servers. Go wild, save the town, do what you want. You're thinking about business at a time like this? Look around! This is precisely the time to be acting on contingencies. The Jabber deal is integral to securing Mira's future. Imagine connecting all that is special about Stone Creek to the rest of the world. Tourism, talent, exports, you name it. Who knows if things go well and acquisition might be on the table. That means what's happening here might spread. Yeah, that's what I said. He's not getting it. What's with the ominous tone? With Jabber, Mira's position will be solidified as the lifeblood of this town. Pauls was on board the project since the start, but he pulled back last minute. Now that we're both in a little conundrum, we can help each other out. So I'll ask you again, will you get Paul's prototype? Don't you think Paul might have a reason for his decision? I know he has. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. Look, there are tons of small towns in this country. No one remembers them, left on their own to rot in their little corners. Paul and I believe this town can be special, that there is a future for us. I can't back out of it just because he's afraid of whatever monster of the week he's found. Look, don't you use Paul to justify yourself. I mean, we wanted the same thing. We just had different methods. You might not believe this. Wah, wah, wah. Paul and I share the same vision. We wanted to reinvigorate this town. You're going behind his back to do it, Thomas. Just like he did mine with the exploit, right? Keeping score won't get us anywhere. Maybe Paul's heart was in the right place, but his actions have put everything in jeopardy. The prototype, the deal, is the key to the town's future. I need it. He knew that. You don't need the deal to achieve your vision. You need good people. And I had them, Jeff, Paul. Mira suffered huge losses. If I fail now, there's no chance of rebuilding. Paul was the mastermind by Mira Tech's software. Without, it, without him, we're finished. But the prototype can springboard a new opportunity. It's a lifeline for me to save Mira, save my team, save the vision. Paul wouldn't have wanted it like this. Paul, Paul was the idealist between the two of us. He's soft, always wants better for others. Oh, he's definitely soft now. He got pulled through his floor and it became like a really like weird stain on it. So, uh, Stone Creek is a special place made exceptional by the people here. I'm proud of how far we've come. 
when the mayor wanted to turn Stone Creek into a tourist destination, offered to fund Mira's growth, it was perfect. Paul was hesitant, but I convinced him. This is how we do it. I want to honor that one last time. The prototype won't honor him. The protocol will. We'll see how far we can go with this conversation. I can't believe up. Uh, ooh, we might get it for free. So we still got the passphrase. We still got the thing, but you made your point. You'll do it. You won't regret this, little buddy. If whatever Paul said is true, I hope that I can finally do something good for this town. The truth is Mayor Richardson won't give us success in our terms. He threatened to pull funding unless we raked in profit ASAP. All they care about is their pockets, not Stone Creek. You're right. Paul's right. I, Mira will find another way. It's just admitting defeat is... I'm ashamed. Yeah, well, you're saving people. So shut the fuck up! So he does have... So he does have a heart. Paul would be grateful. Pleasure doing business with you, Thomas. Ellipsis. I'd like, I'd like to think so. All his sentimentality, his influence... Use it well, would you? Goodbye. Ah, Atlas override completed. Hell yeah. All right. Well, giggity. Paul, are you there? I'm sorry, what? Ruby, are you okay? Paul's gone, Ruby. You know this. That's, that's not true. He's here. Oh, shit. Uh, yep, she's done lost her mind. Uh, what do you mean? This would never happen on a Windows phone. <laughs> you know, I had a Windows phone. I actually liked it. I liked the tiles and stuff like that. It kept things simple on the desktop in a way. I didn't mind it, honestly. I don't understand. Uh, let's see here. You're, you tried to bring it out with this. Uh, I think you saw something more in me. Something good. You tried to bring it out with this journey. It didn't work, Paul. Good isn't a switch, Paul. Good is a choice. Uh, you're confused, Ruby. And I want to get out of Stone Creek. That's what I choose. You know that. So why do you keep saying it? You have to fight it. Fight! You keep saying it's you. I'm not the person you think I am, Paul. The story is all I'm after. It's my only way out. I was never going to give it up that easily. If you wanted Stone Creek safe, you should have asked someone else. Uh, I'm going to ask Karen for advice next. All right, I guess that's it for Ruby. Yeah, she's not going to say anything. Okay. So we've picked where we're going next. Okay, as you were a child, so da, 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 stars and spirits guide you. Okay, so we've already talked to Karen once, the mistress of the night. Karen, I have a video for you. It's Amy. One moment, please. She's got slow internet. Heavens, this, why? This must be painful for you. You really didn't know what Amy was doing. <clears throat> um, why would I say this is painful for you? Yeah, Amy is the cause of all this. Maybe so, but let's not forget what drove her to this. Betrayal, isolation, loss. How could I have been so blind to her suffering? I didn't even know they knew each other, did I? I don't think that was very clear, but maybe. Thank you for this. I can't say it brings me peace, but there are answers at least. Uh, is that all you wish to tell me? There's more. Do you know about the Beldum rewrite protocol? There's a chance we can undo Amy's actions. Why didn't you tell me about Paul's plan? Uh, there's a chance we can undo Amy's actions. Is there hope to repair this? It somehow feels wrong when her last moments were in agony. No, the town can't continue like this. You're right. Paul wanted some advice on stopping the curse. Amy's curse. Curses can't be, cannot be stopped. Not fully. But they can be transformed into something else. The symbol is at the center of it. If we alter the curse itself, we might be able to neutralize its effects. Repurpose it not to do any harm. If that if it's that easy, why haven't you done it yet? Could someone change it back to its original form? How does that work? 
Actually, it's a good question to ask, could someone change it back to its original form? But uh, aspects such as its shape and color can be modified to change its meaning. Essentially, it becomes a new message. Paul always theorized there's more to the Beldum story than what we know now. If that is true, that means the current form of the Beldum is false, and what we're looking for is the true interpretation of her. He was supposed to look for it, and I'm not sure if he ever did. He he said he sent me he sent me some he sent me some sort of progress, but it looks incomplete. What did he send you? What is her true form? What did he send you? The map of the town with some scribbles and a few locations marked. It didn't really. I didn't really. I that I don't really understand it. Uh, what is her true form? I'm not sure why they keep pushing certain statements. Like, it just feels like, okay, you can click this one and click this one and then click this one. There's no, like, branching that there used to be in Simulacra 2 or 1, I feel like. Or not as much. Rumors have it that she is a kind and gentle soul. Even in her last days, she never saw ill of ones who wronged her, murdered her. It's what inspired me to author the tale you found to reach me. Why not just make a new story? <clears throat> That would unleash more danger. Truth is what drives curses. Even warped in its current form, the anger, the sadness is based on real feelings. But it is possible. I would I would need some sort of imagery, a representation of real Beldum, to perform the ritual again. Then the Beldum will be made into a benevolent force. Or I can tweak the curse. Redirect the Beldum to a new target. The Richardsons, the town council, their wicked bloodline. Oh, wow. So you can either make it a benevolent force for everyone, and then the town will stop to deal with the council, or you can have the Beldum go after the Richardsons. That's interesting. All right. Where their true form shall be harmless, redirect the Beldum towards the council. What, what about the other? So harmless. That is correct. The curse will still exist. At most, people might report some ghost sightings here and there but her presence won't be as destructive as it is now. Redirect the Beldum towards the council? What about the others? I will make it so she only wields her, her will against those who've wronged her. Leave it to me. Amy is young, emotional. She unleashed her rage to the entire town. Perhaps I can remedy that. The town's owed a justice. Let's stick to the plan. Find the true Beldum so you can revenge on behalf of Amy and the Beldum. Uh, I mean, as we know, the Richardsons are just... Pieces of shit, but we really haven't been introduced to them fully, besides through other people who have been wronged by them. So we, we really don't know the full story, though. Uh, let's stick to the true Beldum. <clears throat> you know, I've lived all my life in Stone Creek. It's likely where I'll spend my last moments as well. So much time here, and I've lived most of it uh, blinding myself to its faults. Well, I can't pretend anymore. I can't pretend that this town isn't poison, that it doesn't force people into extremes. I can't pretend that my friend didn't lose her life as a result of it. That anger she felt at the end, I've had it in me, tucked away. Now I feel every ounce of it. Redirecting the Beldum to the corrupt leaders of this town will be justice. Uh, what happened to Amy was tragic, but that won't help you. It's not for me, it's for everyone we've lost. Think about it, Stone Creek would be a better place. No one would be driven to desperation again, not like Amy. We would prevent that. The suffering ends here. Amy wasn't innocent in all this. She made her choice. Yeah, making the Beldum a weapon won't make Stone Creek better. It's actually pretty terrifying. There's a chance it might. Oh, am I a fool? The Beldum, your words, they have weight. Why, <laughs> thanks. It would be a wretched thing to use her as they have. I, right? Because at that point, you're just using her as she was used before. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I have the power to turn the tides of this town, but the answer is unclear. I'm conflicted. Amy and Paul wouldn't want more pain. Let's finish the plan. Unleash them onto the Richardsons. No. Uh, let's see. I let my weakness get the best of me. Her mom has weight? Wow. Wow. Rude. 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 And I don't know. I can't say I've never seen a photo. She's extra thick. God damn it. 
Nothing could forgive my actions otherwise. Our work is almost done. You're doing the right thing for Amy. All right, let me transfer the document Paul sent me. It's a map with a note on it. I'm not sure what to make of it. Perhaps you do. <clears throat> trace, trace the past to the to the truth. Okay. Final location is here. Here, so you, we use the phone. We have the library, the church, the fountain, the park, and the bus stop. So we have these areas here. Once we trace this, it'll give us this. Not sure what it means. Linking on Atlas? There isn't such a feature on the app. Paul's version of Atlas can do that. Ba -da -da. Ah, so that's what it means. Perhaps you should look into the missing person reports from ah those locations and line them up somehow. Based on when they disappeared, from the oldest case to the latest. Do you have any insight that would be helpful? Because that would be great. <clears throat> Let's see, based on these three locations, I'm familiar with three of them. A friend who went to church mentioned they were praying for someone who went missing, which we got the email on that. We got it a little while ago, too, so that's perfect. That makes sense now. That was November. I recall missing posts to the library when I was borrowing some books. That was in mid-December. I know of a volunteer search party deployed near the fountain. That was early January. Fortunately, I can't help with the cases at the park or the bus stop. Perhaps Paul tried to contact the families for information. The local paper might have insights as well. They keep frequent reports on these developments. Hopefully this aids you enough. Okay, so let's take a look at this real quick. All right, let's try tracing it. I don't know, the truth right here. I am going to lose my mind. To salvage. It is to salvage, okay. Interesting. Okay, that finally worked. All right, so the park was the last one. So it goes church November, library December, fountain January, bus stop February, and then park is whatever month that was. So that's the last one before going over to KP Salvage. Okay. That's why. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. The true Beldum. Not so scary. A long-lost representation of the Beldum. Whatever the truth, the Simulacra's masquerade must be stopped. True face of the Beldum. You seldom see the Beldum. I got it. Bam! Take that in. Heavens, she's beautiful. Hell yeah. That was the cover of Playboy, actually. I never knew that this was the true representation of her, the Beldum. What a shame that people's fears warped her to that twisted image we know now. Uh, what did she jump to? Hold on. You will see the light again. Just a moment, please. What, did she just come up with this? Did she do one of those AI creations? Did she, like, run that thing through an AI and was like, paint the Beldum, and the, Bel and the AI was like, okay, here you go. It looks like it. Definitely looks like it. A new Beldum, a mark of the simulacra attached to the image and narrative of the true Beldum of Stone Creek. Boom, bitches. I hope the stars give you peace, Karen. Thank you for everything, Karen. You're certainly opened my eyes to all this. Thanks. Oh, goodness, they have and they will in many forms, one of which is you. Aw. Farewell. My faith is with you all the way. True Beldum told. Ruby, what the fuck are you going off on now? Girl, I ain't got time for your shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Beldum? Beldum? Be gone, Satan! Stop it. Not today, Satan. Do that shit with my phone. Paul's phone. Now my phone, I guess. There's a different way this can end, Rook. She showed me. Nothing has to be destroyed. It's in your head, Ruby. Don't worry, she can see inside yours too. No, thank you. Resisting won't fix this. Won't fix Stone Creek. Won't fix me. It only disappears if I disappear. Disappear where? Who's filling your head with these thoughts? It's lying to you. It is a snake. It knows you're bringing it down. It's trying to get rid of you. 
Then does it bring me so much? Pe- uh, then, then does it bring me so much peace? You're invited to witness the end, Rook. I'm finally leaving Stone Creek. We're still in this together, bitch. Don't you do this. Oh, shit. Almost clicked on it by accident because it jumped up like that. I don't like this. Like, when you're finished with the text being sent to the player, like, don't have this jump up because then it pushes up the text you're trying to read. It's annoying. Like, I, I would understand if they brought over some of the timed choices in Simulacra 2, which, I mean, maybe they do later on. Um, but so far, they haven't. So it's just like, I don't understand why they keep pushing this up. Then you accidentally click on something you don't want to. Um, if you find something else, I'd prefer if you left me out of it. Paul found a way to stop the symbol. Forgot to tell me something, Damien. What do you know about the Beldum Rerep? Uh, found a way to stop the symbol. Bruh. Eek, insect, it's you. Hey, now. Didn't I tell you to leave me out of this? I gave you everything about Jeff. What more do you want? There's something about a kill switch app? The Beldum Rewrite protocol? Damien, tell me about Paul's plan. I was hoping you wouldn't find out about that. Just let you free type and have the game AI handle it? God damn. It's like one of those, um, what is it? One of those app games where you're just like, yeah, you just uh, go AFK and let it play for you, you know? All I know is that he wrote some sort of software to do, uh, see, something about forcefully releasing the real image of the Beldamon Atlas. All I know is that he wrote some sort of, software to do it, but it needs the other parts to work. What can you tell me about the app? What other parts? Well, it needs an eye of a newt, a leg of a toad. There are some things I can't get my hands on that Paul was persistent about. A backdoor script into Atlas. There's no way of getting that unless Thomas hands it over himself. Got it. Uh, that and some sort of long-forgotten records about the Beldum. I can't recover anything like that. It's been burned down or buried. I got that too. What can you tell me about the app? Ida, <laughs> Ida, yeah, that's right. Idle Simulacra 4. Get the battle pass. Shit. Oh, God. Sof Damn it. Sophisticated piece of tech it is. It's a deployment tool that enables users to replace any instance of images or videos throughout social media. Actually, the app should be preloaded on his phone. We just need to know how to find it and access it. Paul mentioned he gave you a key. A key. A key? He didn't give me any key. All he gave me notes, documents, content. Wait a minute. I remember now. Woo! I love these little emojis. I didn't see it before. I think I know how to access the app. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Well, I guess Simulacra. I'm getting to it. So one of the stuff Paul sent me was a contact. It was just a word, not even a name, telling me that it's a way to access a killer app. I mean, I thought he was just referring to the next coming of, like, Jabber or something. I didn't think he mean an actual killer app. You know, to kill the Beldum. Kind of a stretch, but okay. I think I have something like that. I think I have seen something like that before. You just <laughs> tell the voice assistant to turn on the app. <laughs> Siri, please. Yeah, no. Uh, a mysterious contact with a non-name word. I see he has mastered the art of concealment from me. This is so cool. It's as if he, he uh, his will compels those around him to finish what he started. Oh. <gasps> Are you done? So, so where is it? Here you go. Ba -ba -bum. Uh -oh. oh God, one of these again. Please fill in the necessary fields. So we need a first name and now a last name. There's no middle name. And a fucking address? Okay, here we go. If my memory serves me right, when I asked how to access it, he said, think of me when you want to access it. He gave me a wink as he said as he said it, so that must mean something. Clarification, me as in Paul, not Damien. Some help would be great, if you got any. It's all coming together. What could it be? Is it a cipher? A code word? An anagram? Or maybe think of me as in put his details in the contact itself? 
Can it be that simple? Good luck, bud. There's some chatter my Squishmelon and I gotta tend to. Okay. So, let's see here. Think of me when you want to access it. Well, he definitely doesn't have a middle name. 